Hi everyone. In this video, we will introduce GDefect 4 dl a general bar they set up deep learning programs. Nowadays, a huge number of deep learning programs are developed and maintained. A search with the keyword deep learning on GitHub can return over 140K repositories and over 130K issues. Therefore, there is a need for developing software engineering techniques such as bug localization and repair for them. Any technique needs benchmark and a data set for the validation. Existing researchers have constructed several data sets of deep learning program bugs, which, have, which has made great contribution to the community. However, our investigation finds that the bug quality varies in those data sets. One most important problem is that some bug is too specific to be generalized to the other projects which is less educational for the human programmers and less motivating to design a tool to, or methodologies to locate and fix them. Here is a non-journal bug in an existing data set. It's caused by, the caused by miscombining the channels and its fix involves radical changes to replace the old implementation with a more sophisticated one. Both the root cause and the fixed solution are hard to be generalized to the other projects. In current stage, we prefer to investigate the bugs with their root cause and a fix appearing in more projects. Here, we show a general bug example in gdefects for dl which is not a number bug, which providing a very small value to the log function in the TensorFlow framework. It is common error when we use this function as part of a loss function to train a model. Similarly, in the other project, a bug has the same root cause as the previous one. The log function is used here can raise not a number error again. GDFX for DL can maintain similar bugs sharing the same root causes and allowing software engineering researchers to observe and compare against different fixed solution and design their own bug localization and repair technique. Our GDFX for DL tool are designed with four rationales. The first is the generality. We only focus on the bugs which can be generalized to the other projects. The second is authenticity. We link each bug to a closed GitHub issue and its discussion. We also maintain the whole evolution history of the project, preparing for more extensive technical design. The third is isolated environment. We provide both Conda and a Docker environment. Conda for replication simplicity and Docker for preserving complete system settings. The last is a tool integration. We now support three tools at the current stage. Moreover, we support both web front end and a command line for users to view and access the journal bugs. Next, we introduce the tool features in, det in details. In the web front end, users can view all the journal bugs and the field results by bug type, error messaging, and etc. Clicking the pull button can download the bug from our cloud. Clicking detail button allows us to check the details of each bug. Here, the support level means the number of similar bugs in the dataset. Clicking the ID of similar bugs, user can further check the details. Clicking the GitHub ESU allows the user to check the discussion of the bug. User can also ch check the corresponding commit to fix the bug. Moreover, user can click the diff button to check the isolated fix changes for each fix. User can run failing and passing test cases as well. We will output the log messages in the console. We integrate three tools, Shipflow, Debar, and Grist. If the bug can be supported by the tool, the corresponding tool button will be shown in green. Otherwise, it is shown in gray. The command line end is equipped with the same functionalities as provided by the web front end. Each function is wrapped as an API for user to invoke. In addition, the Conda and the Docker environment allows the user to investigate the source code of each project and their evolutionary history. This is a Java doc specifying our Java API of each function. Users can check our Google doc on the website. 